Welcome to Cavalier Computers. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to do a payroll, employee payroll deduction, also known as employee charge, on our website. The first thing you'll need to do when you get to our website is create an account. If you're, since you're a UVA employee, that's very easy to do. You go to www.cavaliercomputers.com, you click on login, and when the page comes up, you just go to sign in with your UVA computing ID. All of us are very familiar with this. You have to do your do well as you saw signing with NetBadge. I already signed in earlier, so I had to skip. I got to skip all the other stuff. So I'm on the website and I want to go shopping. So to shop our page, you can do a couple of different ways. You can search for what you're looking for in the search box, or you can go to our shopping cart. Since I kind of know what I'm looking for, I'm just going to go in here and go to electronics. Or Put a, I need some sound at the house. And I don't looking forward to my cart. It actually tells you whether or not we have it in stock or not. So that's cool. I'm going to add this to my cart. Remember, a payroll deduction has to be a minimum purchase of $150. And you had to be at the university for at least 12 consecutive months, so one whole year to be eligible. So I'll add that to my cart. Then I want to do some more shopping. Then I need a nice TV to go with that. Go with that speaker I got there. So I'm gonna go TVs. Do I have any TVs here? Yeah, I do got some TVs. So I'm gonna add a TV as well. I'm gonna go with a 75 inch TV. Add that to my car, car as well. All right, I'm all set. So before I go any further, like I might use in my car, but if you ever wanted to see what the payroll deduction is about you can click on employee payroll deduction at the very top tab then you will watch the videos we have here already here's the documentation you'll have to download if you're depending on what status you are if you're on the academic side the health side uva wise or with upg you have to download a form so you can fill out and this is going to be a form that we that we ask you for at a later time via email once you place your order if you want to know what your payments are going to be before you make your purchase you can Go into your payment calculator, put in your total what you're purchasing. So this right here, I should have paid attention before I did. If I'm a cheat, I'm gonna go to open my cart in a separate window here. All right, so my sold total is thirteen ninety nine ninety eight. I'm gonna pop that number into here real quick. As you see, I was typing the the calculator told me how much it's gonna be. So it tells me what the total is gonna be with tax. It's what my ten percent down is. The ten percent down is based on the subtotal. Then it breaks it up for me. Uh, if, I, if I get to pay every two weeks, it tells me that I'm, I'm going to owe fifty-one thirty-one coin on my paycheck every two weeks. If I'm a nine-month employee, it's going to be one hundred and forty-eight dollars and twenty-four cents every 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 month for a nine-month employee. If I'm, a, if I'm a monthly, if I get paid monthly, um, or twelve times, it'd be one hundred eleven dollars and eighteen cents. All right, so I have an idea what I'm doing. So, so now I go to my cart, close up the window. I want to check out. So I've already logged in. I'm checking out. So I'll select my shipping address. We can ship the product to you, but if we ship it to you, there will be a shipping cost. So be aware of that. Um, but we can't ship it to you, but it will, there will be a shipping cost. We prefer that you do in-store pickup because it's easier and faster for you to do it that way. So I'm going to default to store pickup. The other options we have on here are curbside pickup, department delivery. As it says, it's for, de for departments only. It's not for individuals. And then we have the shipping methods here. As you see, shipping does cost. So, do store pickup. Hit continue. Then when I get to this page right here, I'm going to choose my, I'm going to choose employee charge. That's my payment method. Once I choose employee charge, I scroll down to the bottom, make sure my billing address is correct, and I click enter. I'm sorry, I click continue. What the website is doing right now, it is going through, is looked up to make sure that I'm an eligible, eligible employee. It'll do the same for you. And if I'm an eligible employee, it's going to automatically show me what the down payment is going to be. So it's showing me my down payment is going to be $140 and $40 even. Basically, what it did, it rounded up. So then it rounded up to the nearest dollar. 
All right, and I'm fine with that. So I've already had my credit card in my account for my deposit amount. You have to be able to pay your deposit, so you need to have the credit card on file. So I'm gonna put in my security code, then I'm gonna hit submit payment. It says order paid in full. Put down. Hit continue again. Let's do his thinking here. And the background is getting some information together for us. All right. Let me review my review my order again. All right. I want to put test on here. Over here is showing you that you what you're putting on the employee charge, what's going on the down payment, and what's total. This is actually incorrect. Once you get your final receipt, it'll show this amount to be the same as the same as your total up here. It's going to up, it's going to roll that seventy four dollars and twenty cents in tax into your employee charge. For some reason, it's not doing the website right now, but it does roll it into that amount right there. So your total is this amount right here. And we also confirm it on the back end when we get the order. Click place order. And what's happening in the background, it is getting you an order number. It's going to send you an email. And it's also putting the order into our system as well to alert us that you've made an order. Once we receive that order, one of our, that, that order will be assigned to one of our sales associates. That sales associate will review, will review your order, go over it, make sure everything is okay with it. If all the items are in stock, um, the sales associate is going to email you a form that I spoke about earlier. You'll complete that form, um, send it back to the associate, and then once the associate tells you that the order is available to pick up, you'll come into the store and pick it up. And it's simple as that. Um, it's finished doing all, some of the things I was talking about. So it gives you your order number. You've also received the email in the background. You can also download a PDF copy of your order. It shows you what you ordered, the total amount. You may copy that, and we also have a copy of that as well. And that's it. That's how you make an employee charge, employee payroll deduction order on our website. Pretty simple. Um, if you have any questions, you can email us at cavcomp at virginia.edu. You can also send us a message on our website um, via the contact. Or you can give us a call at 434-924-3475. Thank you.